This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play The Hunger Games Mockingjay The Board Game with Alessio and Jack from River Horse Games. Uh, so Alessio, it's you versus me, 1v1. Yes, yes, well, we'll, we'll clearly pacify Pan Am against these strange ideas that are Nothing to see up. here, you know, we're, just, we're just civilians standing in the crowd, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to get a bit of a, a how to play on the game now that it's on Kickstarter. So, uh, what I'm curious about is what is the actual way we start our games? Um, so, uh, first you must pick a side. Mm -hmm. and, uh, which Rebellion. We've, <laughs> which we've done, yeah, you are the, uh, the plucky resistance. And you are the uh, oppressive capital. Um, Benevolent capital. <laughs> uh, next, we set up the game as, we, as we've as uh, we done already. Here's one we made earlier. Yep, so this is a, a preloaded setup that you're meant to do. So I have troops in District 13. You have... Uh, Everywhere else. Yeah, ish. <laughs> we'll, we'll see about that. Yes, we have a force that keeps the peace in the, in the territories and uh, an air force here to, you know, just in case yeah. Yeah, yeah, we need yeah, a yeah. rapid response. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Um, so, yeah, the capital really does start with sort of control of everywhere, whilst mm. the resistance is trying to sort of overthrow that by either getting to the capital and starting an uprising there, mm -hmm. or by starting an uprising in eight other districts okay. to, to get the win. Mm, okay, um, this is going to be interesting for me. I I'm, I kind of feel like I'm on the uphill. Yes, and the capital is just basically trying to survive for those six turns mm -hmm. or destroy the resistance HQ. Okay. The, cut off the head of the snake. All right, well, so, uh, turn sequence. How do we begin a turn? Uh, so there's three phases. Mm -hmm. uh, the maneuvers phase, strategy phase, and the influence phase. Mm -hmm. uh, so we begin with the maneuvers phase, mm -hmm. which starts with what's probably going to be a bit scary for you, the district abilities. Where, okay. Um, Alessio will go through the... District, different districts he has. Each one has a special ability. When you flip those, he will not get access to those abilities anymore. Okay. But at the beginning, he has all of them. Okay, so what are all of the abilities? <laughs> Let's start running through them here. Okay. Yeah. It's worth just pointing out that basically, as long as I control them, so they're on the white side, that's mm -hmm. why I get the abilities now in this phase. Mm -hmm. But and if they flip over to the resistance side, then he gets advantages and I lose them. So it's uh -huh. very, it, it flips very quickly. Mm -hmm. And how you do that is these. Ah yes, so markers. all of the, the little red tokens we have out and about. So these are resistance markers, so this is what they're called? Uh, yes. And um, they are, um, basically they represent how much of the population is actually starting to um, disagree mm. with the control. And you can see that there's actually the yeah, influence. So there's, there's three here, uh, two here, and the further away we get, the more sort of peaceful and pacified the population is. Indeed. So my... My job is try to remove those and make them go away. Your job is try to create more and more of those until the the, the district turn. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so, what are your abilities? Shall we start running right through them? Uh, we start with the capital, mm -hmm. and uh, you can either move out any units in the capital to a different district, or you can put one peacekeeper in the capital per district you have. And Which certainly, is twelve. Yeah, certainly. So at the moment I get on the full twelve, I might as well do a mighty call to arms, reinforce my six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. That there feels you go, better. Sir. Eek. Four, six. Oops, actually, one more. Then. <laughs> we had a, uh, somebody was, from thirteen join. Yeah, <laughs> worth, uh, worth a try. <laughs> that um, was an infiltrator. I swear. <laughs> uh, next, we have uh, luxuries district one. So you can remove two uh, rebellion tokens from any district. Uh, then we place one peacekeeper in, in district one. Mm -hmm. So district one? So district one and district two are sort of the loyalist uh, mm -hmm. districts. Those are the ones that you really would love to turn yeah. and that you really need to keep. Um, and there? I get to remove two rebellion tokens from any capital district. I mm -hmm. think I will. So the choice here is to pacify more thoroughly these that are closer or try to start to turn these, but those will be closer to the resistance. So I mm. think they can probably survive on their own. I will start to remove that one. So I'll take two tokens off this one. So we okay, some propaganda so there. District 11. Let's do 11. Uh, Agriculture. Next we have two, Masonry. So you can place a fortification token in any district mm -hmm. and two peacekeepers. Two peacekeeper. So nice. um, during the combat phase, uh, if there are resistance infantry and peacekeepers in an area, 
uh, they will fight mm -hmm. and sort of attempt to take each other out. Mm -hmm. The uh, resistance usually has the upper hand because they're sort of guerrilla fighters that get to pick their fight. Mm -hmm. um, and they sort of roll their combat rolls first and mm -hmm. can sort of take off a few casualties before the peacekeepers get to, uh, mm -hmm. to fight back. Uh, if there is a fortification token in the area, that's sort of Alessio preparing for a fight. And, yeah, I have to kind um, of storm the garrison. Yeah, and he, he gains the upper hand, and that is switched over. So um, mm. we'll, we'll, sort of, we'll fortify District 12 of all places. Mm -hmm. So you're sort of choosing the places that's going to be a bit harder for you to take. Ouch. Next, we have technology. Uh, you can either place one, ca uh, one hovercraft in uh, District 3, or you can draw an operations card. Mm. So okay. operations and mission cards are used during the game to sort of um, affect how stuff is happening in that district, mm -hmm. to place and remove rebellion tokens, to move your troops around, the oh, sort of little sneaky hovercraft. things you can do. I think we'll produce an hovercraft right there. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, next, we have the fishing district, District 4. You can mm. place a welfare token in any district. Okay. So, well-fed tokens um, allow you to, at the end of the round, you'll be rolling a d12 for each mm -hmm. district. If you roll under the amount of tokens in the district, that district turns to your side. Mm -hmm. Well-fed tokens, they're a bit happier, they're a bit more okay with capital rule because they're all uh, well-fed. Yep. Uh, so, District 3 is becoming <laughs> kind of an anchor point. So, at the end of the turn, you'll have to roll two dice and both of them will have to be lower than the resistance mm -hmm. tokens as they're a bit more happy with uh, your, yeah. your governance. <laughs> Uh, next, we have power, District 5. So this is another capital or, um, sorry, hovercraft or operations card. Mm -hmm. I'll have an operation card here. No, actually, I'll have a last hovercraft. <laughs> Change my mind. I'll have the hovercraft here. And and then we have six, six. transportation, which is, again, hovercraft or operations card. I'll uh, run out of hovercraft, so I'll have an operation card. This is kind of scary that you've got three districts there where you can pretty much just constantly be creating hovercraft. Yeah, it makes um, makes your job quite a bit harder, and mm. especially since the uh, the resistance really don't get that sort of building of hovercraft mm -hmm. every turn. Um, lumber fortification token. Fortification token. Speaking of, this is can create uh, hovercraft. We'll fortify it. <laughs> uh, textiles remove two rebellion tokens. I get to remove another two. Well, following on, I made them well fed. Okay, let's consolidate three. Really, <laughs> it's a good uh, choice. Grain well fed token. Another worth of token, which we'll have so here. We're getting to the, the food stock. Uh, so, 10 livestock welfare token. Wow. So, 12, mm. 3, and where now? Hmm. I think I'll try to keep that. So, okay. Third. Then, 11 agriculture welfare token. This is your last welfare token. Okay. So, we'll have it here. Okay, District 8. Uh, then, finally, mining place fortification token. Last fortification token. I will have on six, but you know, fortifying, <laughs> creating a, effectively a wall around thirteen. Yeah. Well, you, you kind of know where the district is, so it kind of makes <laughs> sense that you would have some defenses out there. But, um, and then you do get a bit of a response. Okay. Uh, in that uh, you will place, you can choose either to place three resistance units here, mm -hmm. uh, or you can choose to try and make a revolt happen in a different district mm. and place some units there. Let's see, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to place three into my resistance HQ to start with. Oh. Just, uh, I'm going to yeah. I'm going to try like a mass wave coming out from here. <laughs> we'll see if it works. OK. Um, and you also draw two mission cards. Two mission cards. OK, so I just automatically get two a turn? Yeah, so that's something that Alessio can't sabotage. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you are able to take his sort of um, mm -hmm. uh, power, transportation, and um, and technology, you, you could stop him from sort of being able to do okay. fun things. I've had a quick look at them. <laughs> I think I know what I'm doing. All right. There is a plan ish. Um, so next, we sort of go into movement. Mm -hmm. um, the capital moves, then the resistance moves, and the capital moves the hovercraft, and then the resistance moves the hovercraft. Mm -hmm. You b each move in slightly different ways. The capital chooses any district, then moves any adjacent peacekeepers uh, or any amount of adjacent peacekeepers into that district. The resistance does the opposite. They choose mm -hmm. any district, and then they move any uh, resistance peacekeepers out of that district. Mm -hmm. So capital can really crush one place. Mm -hmm. Resistance can spread out and, yeah. uh, and look at different places. So let's see. And the important thing is that I do it first, and then they will move. So actually, most often, they pick the battles that where they want to fight, mm -hmm. which is uh, frustrating for the capital. It does suddenly have the feel of you have the military superiority, mm -hmm. but you're slower, more cumbersome, yeah. and they are more agile, and they're spread out all over the place. So it's difficult to actually nail them down. Mm -hmm. OK. 
so I shall pick a district and move stuff into it. I am tempted to pick, yeah, I'll pick eight. I'll pick eight and mm -hmm. project quite a lot of my, so one, two, three, I have four overcrafts and I will line up <laughs> four troops to go into them later. Okay. So my plan would be send some forces here, mm -hmm. keep a little reserve of, I don't know, two peacekeepers in the capital. So basically the army moves to here. Mm -hmm. Some of them jump in there in the aircraft for future and movement. Because you've chosen this zone, could you be moving peacekeepers in from here, 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 and here? I could move stuff into it. So basically yeah. anything that is adjacent can go in. Actually, thank you for reminding me of that. I might be tempted to send this guy from two in there. Is there a maximum limit to how many troops we can have in a zone? Uh, so not during the turn, but at the end of the turn, you remove any more than 12. OK, for both of us? Uh, for both of you, yeah. OK. So um, if you really need to, you could throw a load in for mm. a big battle. Um, mm. Okay. I will not move this in there as well because I had a, I have a plan that okay. involves these overcraft and these <laughs> troops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, in fact, and I, will get, <laughs> I will get more troops next turn here probably, so I might as well bring one in, move it in there. Okay. Yeah. So basically, I send a concentration of force in this eight. Mm. Okay, so there's quite the hefty squad there. Hmm. Um, I wonder where I'm going to move troops <laughs> from. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, during this phase, can I move hovercraft as well? Uh, you can, uh, mm -hmm. but you don't have to. But if I do, do they I then get to move them again? They would get to move again. Hovercraft are quick. OK, I will be doing that then. So my thinking is I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Keeping three here, and the four hovercraft will go in here wow. as well. It's coming for you. I have a, th I have a thought. So ah. we, we had a little go of this off camera, and I think I've sussed the, the rebellion <laughs> now. I think I've sussed how to, to actually work with the resistance and really give Alessio a bad day. OK. Uh, capital Hovercraft. Capital Hovercraft. And yes, I, I think what you've done with the, when you decided, when you asked the question about can Hovercraft move in the first phase <laughs> and then move again, mm -hmm. I tended not to think about that because I thought, well, I need to do other stuff. But actually, it's a very good thing because you get to move them faster. So good thinking. Yeah. I wish I thought I can, of that. Basically, my thinking yeah, is that, that, I can blitz maybe a few different areas here. Yes, you can. And uh, that was an interesting thing. So there, really, I think I could try to... I fortified it, but obviously there's such an overwhelming force there. Mm -hmm. uh, reinforcing it sounds a bit, a bit of a forlorn hope. So I think we'll probably... <laughs> we'll probably, my, this autograph will pick this guy and go, you know oh, what? Are they running away? Ah! <laughs> Run Not away! Today. Fair enough. What about these guys? Hmm. Okay, I see you could jump it in there. So actually, instead of moving my hovercraft here, I'll move my hovercraft here. That's fair enough. Capital. And, sorry, from, from there, from, say, from three. Mm -hmm. And I will also send ah. a deterrent force here Yes. to basically say to these guys, yeah, well, you're welcome to come here with your <laughs> four overcrafts now. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Are you doing anything with this one down here? This overcraft here has a job, which is to basically... Pick up someone. Pick up oh, from right. here, and uh, basically because at the moment I have one in each thing, and with only one peacekeeper, the, the resistance starts bubbling up and they start to rebel. With two peacekeepers, then you keep them suppressed, which I'm, think, I'm thinking of spreading some peacekeepers in this area <coughs> and using one overcraft, the job of just dropping some Yeah, not to garrison. mention if, if these ones are always generating you more uh, troops just That's right. on the sides. Is well, yes. That's right. Okay, done. But, um, yep, so your hovercraft. Yep. Uh, hmm. Now, do I be subtle or no? <laughs> no, I'm not going to be subtle today. So all of my hovercraft from District 3 are each going to move Ooh. forward into here. With a guy. Bold moves. Wow. Well, I mean, like, because this zone is now completely empty of your forces, I'm not overly worried. So I'm just thinking I can really just leave this peacekeeping force here, my peacekeeping force, <laughs> and uh, basically just move out and have a good chance like enemy, of taking District 8 off you. That's interesting. And that would be an interesting battle. I mean, the other thing you could have done, of course, is to send two overcrafts here and two orcas there with, with mm. troops. So with a good chance of taking out 6, 12, and 3. But this is more of a gamble, is a higher gamble. On the other end, it's just on the border with a capital. So I could <laughs> if it goes well... I could put you pressure very quickly. Yes, if it goes well, I'll be worried. Mm. Okay. Okay, so 
Uh, next part is placing operation and mission card. So you each have a hand that you mm -hmm. sort of yes. got from the last turn. You only have the one, but I only uh, have the one. Uh, so uh, resistance places first, and you place face down in any uh, any district. Yeah. So I'm going to play one into District Nine here. Dun. Okay. To see if it works, and then. This is where the, the capital gets a bit of an... Well, no, I guess it kind of gives me the advantage, because I can kind of lock a space down. Then, mm. Yeah, going first means I cannot play a card there. I can mm -hmm. only play one card, in a, yeah. one mission in a thing. So I cannot now play anything in here. Mm -hmm. So I cannot play anything to help or move my stuff from there. I will play... I can reveal what it is, because anyway, we, are, we yes, have one inch. we're at that so stage. I play a force march on my peacekeepers here. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing oh, the Mockingjay mocking here. The Mockingjay. So for that one, uh, I'll actually just pick up the card to read it. Uh, place a number of rebellion tokens in this district equal to the roll you made to complete this task, then discard this mission card. Yeah, so um, missions nine. and operations don't sort of go off immediately. Mm -hmm. um, you, After placing, you uh, you now choose to place, a, um, uh, place Katniss on... Mm -hmm. Either your Mockingjay mission, mm -hmm. um, which gives you a chance of succeeding, mm -hmm. or you can place it on uh, Forced March and try and stop Alessio from, from doing his Forced March. Um, I think, the, um, honestly, with Alessio putting a Forced March in here, this looks a little dicey, so I will place myself in here Okay. to, so try, and, to try and stop that. So so trying to stop that. I, I can just see a wave of hovercraft just new flying in and coming together. <laughs> no, me. actually, what this does, it allows it, it works the other way around oh, to the normal movement. It allows these guys to move into any other territory, so it, they can move out as opposed ah. to. Ah, uh, in that case, I will just do my own. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so you're trying to basically put a huge amount of uh, rebellion resist, tokens rebellion into tokens right here. Here. District Nine, which I think could be very interesting because you have a lot of forces here, and I might be able to sort of you know get that district to turn on you very quickly. Mm. But on the other hand, my forces will quell a lot of that resistance. So but it means they're stuck there quelling it. Um, I think they'll... I can live with that while I actually think I want to do an interesting thing there. So uh, Snow will go and try to enact. So basically the two characters are not going to confront each other. They're both going after yep. their own mission. Uh, so this happens in district order. So um, eight first. Eight first. OK, so uh, that's so a difficulty four of four on, on tactics. tactics. Yeah, yeah. So and those are those the three key stats that our characters have. And if you want to see what snow uh, is fairly scary. Uh, you oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, compared to Katniss. So tactics D8, Intel D6, and propaganda D12. Yes, so funding is helping snow there quite a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, uh, roll it out. Need to get a four, four plus. Oh, yes. Ten. Yeah, well done. Magic. So where are you moving you guys? That is the question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I could move them all into the fortifications in three, because now the defenders, I mean, the Adorno does nothing in three, and we fled from it. Mm. But there might have been a trap to leave your troops in there, and now <laughs> we can... Seven the... plays eight, and you get to go first? And I get to go first. So I think we could b go back and man our fortification, abandon District 8, to go, <laughs> oh, whoops, sounds like too good to, to miss, as a okay. chance, isn't it? Mm. So, so all of them? Shall... Yes, 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 yes. It was a trap. Clearly decoy. You thought my forces were here. Yeah, in, yeah. The, in the night, we force march back into eight and mm. mount our defenses again. Okay, well, I need to get a seven on a D12. I believe in you. Uh, a difficult one. A one. Oh, that'll be a, a one. one. Stop believing me. It doesn't <laughs> help. <laughs> um, so that so failed. Unfortunately, the Mockingjay doesn't inspire the people. Um, she had a cold. It could, be, it could be to do with this old huge air force and, and army that just Perhaps. dropped on them. <laughs> we can stand up against the oppressors no matter how many guns and... Mm. <laughs> oh, no, wait. No, Maybe not. Ignore me. <laughs> um, okay. It is a difficult mission, that. It's yes, very high. Yes. Yeah. Um, if, if it works, the payoff is so good. I mean, like, I was very tempted to use my other card, but I thought... <laughs> it's the Mockingjay, it's Katniss. Yeah. Um, the other thing I could have done with that, I could have played it in one or two. To actually make them rebel and deny Alessio forces of yeah. Warcraft. Um, so uh, after operations and missions, we have the combat phase, or mm. the combat part. Um, this goes in district order again. However, uh, we only have, uh, we one, only have the three. one. Um, so there is only one battle, which yes. is as it fixes uh, the fortifications will open up. Yes. So you have eight, eight, eight troopers. So eight troopers. So uh, usually. You would roll first, mm -hmm. um, but Alessio rolls first because he's got the fortifications. Yep. And we're looking for five ups to um, capture one of the enemy units. And 
if you roll a maximum on a die, so an 8 on a d8, yep. a 10 on a d10, so then you do one to start. Two. Yep. Plus and then one. you'll roll again. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's important because wow. I rolled two maximums, so that's two and two. Six. So it's four, five, and six. That's pretty that's much a the lot. lot of dead. So the first volley was useless, pretty effective. but so, the second volley was devastating. And so, that's demonstrated how important getting the first attack is. Yes, yeah. so I get this. Uh, for one. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> he's gone forever. That's right. Oh. I got him. <laughs> right, you got it. Oh. Ow. That was... Um, yeah. You fell into Snow's trap, clearly. Are you sure about that? <laughs> um, so that's the end of the strategy phase, and we're into the influence phase. Mm -hmm. So next we add and remove rebellion tokens. Mm -hmm. uh, so the way in that, district order again? Yeah, in district order again. So um, if it's a capital district, mm -hmm. uh, we add two. They're just not happy. Doesn't mm -hmm. really matter uh, anything. But um, for each peacekeeper in that district, if there are no resistance infantry, mm -hmm. you remove one. Okay. So in this case, there's two, two peacekeepers here. So we add two, take two away. Yep. Um, nothing happens there. Yep. Uh, same for district two here. Same for District 2, yeah. Uh, um, District, District three. 3 is um, is actually the same. So really? because one guy survived, mm -hmm. they are locked up trying to try and take down that guy and can't do their sort of peacekeeping duties, okay. oppressing the masses. So we add 2 there. Awesome. Uh, 2, please, Alessio. <laughs> so so basically, that, that, they are that, so that... busy hunting down this last resistance that they actually forget about their duty on the, <laughs> well, keeping the population happy. Well, actually, it kind of makes sense because you know they're breaking into people's houses saying, are you hiding him? Ripping up floorboards, seeing if he's under the floorboards, seeing if he's hiding behind the drywall. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make the population happy, does it? Okay. No, no. Uh, um, so four. So in four, we add two. There's one peacekeeper there, so we take one away. So we may as well add one. Yep. Uh, five, same again. Five's the same. Uh, six is over here. Same again. Uh, same again. Add one. Uh, seven is where? Add seven? one. Yep. We add one. Uh, eight's different. So if there are no peacekeepers mm -hmm. in the area, you add an additional two. So we add four into there. Nice. <coughs> so you'll note that it doesn't actually matter if there are any resistance infantry in the area mm. for that. Um, so you oh, can. Oh, so if it's just so an empty could, district? So you can just leave a place after if there are no peacekeepers there. And just let it tick up? Yeah. Awesome. Um, although then, of course, it's easier for yeah. Alessia to get back. So, so that's eight, nine. nine is well under control. So we add two, but then we remove one, two, three, four, five, six. So oh, we so remove these two. Those go away as well. Yes, it gets pacified. Yeah. Uh, district ten will gain one. Ten, ten gains one. Yes. Uh, Eleven gains one. Yep. Uh, and twelve gains, gains one. one. Eleven gains one. Didn't have one to start with. Uh, uh, you cleared them. It had two. Uh, you cleared them with your ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, twelve gains one. Twelve gains one. What? So 12 9 Ten. actually has 4. Okay, so now we go through and we roll for Rebellion. So this is where you can start to claw, claw some stuff back. This has been a... Okay. You've so, lost some men, but um, so the way this works is uh, you roll one die, mm -hmm. and if you roll equal to or below, so in this case 1 for okay. District 1. So this District 1, bad. come on. So I'll roll a 1. Nope. Mm. Number 2. Uh, uh, yeah. Roll a 1. Ah, oh, 2. Uh, uh, 3. 3. Uh, three, three or less, but I have to roll two dice. Exactly, because it's, it's well fed. Five and a four, no good. Nope. Uh, four, where's four? There, so yep. roll a one. Uh, <laughs> no. uh, five, five is roll one. one. Nope. nope. Six. Six is uh, four, and it's not well fed. So, uh, so four or less. A seven, Ooh. no good. Um, seven. seven is roll a one. Yeah. Uh, nope. Eight. Eight is six or less, but I have to roll two dice. Yes, I well fed it. It was a good move. Ah, ah. a six Phew. and a ten, no good. So that, that well fed token was quite an well important spent. thing. Yep. Uh, uh, so nine. Nine. Where's nine? Is over here. They're fine. They, uh, yep. Um, ten. Ten. Two or less. Two or less. Two. Hey. So. Um, right. When so. a district uh, goes into uprising, we flip it over to the uh, resistance side. Mm -hmm. uh, we remove half of the uh, rebellion tokens on the place. Yep. Uh, so in this case, it only has one left. Yep. Uh, but and, uh, place, uh, two, place two infantry, resistance infantry in the district. So Lovely. each district has a mm -hmm. different amount. That so those tokens, those tokens effectively turn into from some fomented resistance into yes. active resistance. So now Alessio has a new new problem in the south to deal with. Yes. And I've lost my one of the welfare tokens, I assume. Yes. Yep. yep. I've yep. lost one. Uh, then eleven. We, we have control of the cows. <laughs> 
Oh, you made oh, a one. Nice. And the agriculture. Oh, so you're losing quite a few wealth and stuff. I put here. two more down, yeah? Uh, yeah. If it says two, uh, yeah. Well, actually, what does it say? Because these are all different. Uh, immediate, yeah, immediately place two resistance. Yep, and, and you don't lose that because it rounds up to yeah. one. And, and then 12. for District 12, so it's four or less, but on two. Uh, eight and a four. Oh, and um, again, the well fed token, once again, was, yeah, a, was a good idea. Very useful. Very, so very useful. Man. But I've lost two. I've lost two well fed tokens, right? This was another well fed token. Was it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Now I, I've gone from three well fed tokens to one well fed token. Oh. We lost a lot of food, basically. Yeah. yeah, and your forces are quite far away from there. Hmm, yes. That's the problem with the resistance. They spring up everywhere like mushrooms. Um, so <laughs> then we go into the cleanup phase where yep. we remove all of the. Um, so fortification, fortification and well-fed well tokens, yes. and we move yeah. the turn tracker up by one. So just remove one, two. Get these, get these, get Three, these. There you go, Alessio. Is that all of them? Have we missed anybody? Um, I think we're okay. I think we're good. That's one hit. Yeah, that's um, okay, good. and I will just police the dice and put them back in. There. And the turn tracker goes to turn two. So that's the end of the first turn. Okay. And uh, we go in from the top again. Okay. With their uh, district. Okay, so, uh, so if you want to quickly read down yeah. through them, we'll make, so, the, make the moves. Uh, capital. We'll fortify the capital again. So I have now 10 districts. Yep. So I get only 10 men. So there's not four. Four. four and ten. two more. So, so that um, all of your forces are on the table. So if you don't have forces to take from the, re uh, the reserves, mm -hmm. you cannot place them on the board. Mm -hmm. So right. um, with district one, for example, uh, normally you would place one on. There's mm -hmm. none to place, so you can't. Yep. Yeah, basically, I, I called all the, all the manpower in the capital yeah. because I got slightly scared now. <laughs> I looked at these guys and went, um, <laughs> How about no? <laughs> However, you, you can remove two rebellion tokens from any district. Yes. So, this is the second one, yeah? yeah? So, we're doing district one. I can remove two mm -hmm. tokens from any district. This is very important. Mm. Now, Ooh. if Alessio was to remove a token from one of these, would it then flip back now? Um, so, at the end of the influence phase, if it has none on it, it will flip. Ah, I see. But I cannot remove, I mean, these abilities only work on capital districts. Ah. I cannot touch these anymore. Oh, so these yeah. aren't affected by your capital yeah. abilities? You pretty I much see. have to get in there. And yeah. Got it. I have to send, a, I have to recapture them, basically. Yeah, okay. So my abilities don't work on them. Mm -hmm. Work on you know, and the ones that stay under my control. For example, I think we'll try to claw this one back. So we'll Ooh, good call. try to retake eight. Okay, my masonry fortification. A fortification. Mm -hmm. Well, send you a message of, we <laughs> like it to go away. Uh, and start building fortification in eight. Yeah. <laughs> Technology, draw an operation card. Uh, yeah, because I don't have any overcrust, so definitely a operation mm -hmm. card. So that's just now you're just getting mission, mission, mission. <laughs> Pretty much. Mm. Uh, fishing, for, well fed. Oh, my, so uh, I think well, my uh, only. No, I think you'll get another one later. Actually. Um, right. Mm. From Where are we looking from at? Grain. We'll, we'll, we'll feed the extra taste. <laughs> it's important Food. to us, basically. You're feeding rebels. Yeah. Give, give them fish. Uh, power. Uh, so, operations card. An operations card. Thank okay. Uh, transport operations card. Because, mm -hmm. uh, again, no overcraft. <laughs> Lumber dead. fortification. A fortification. Interesting. <laughs> we'll fortify three. Ah, okay. Again. Uh, <laughs> textiles, remove two rebellion tokens. Okay. So you're oh, just the... filling them with jewellery and clothes. Yes, and yeah. all the... Don't rebel, we've got all these presents for Look, you. Look, shinies! <laughs> uh, grain, well-fed token. That's the other well-fed token that mm -hmm. I will put Yeah, so on. this is your last one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll probably try to keep three as well. Mm -hmm. uh, then livestock and agriculture uh, are turned, so you mm -hmm. don't get them. And finally, mining. Fortification token. Another fortification token, which will, where would we envisage a fight? Oh, I suppose I could try. Oh, these guys are lost. <laughs> I'm thinking, eh, you never know. I'll let it go. Oh, there. You, oh, but hang on. Oh, oh no, you're, sorry, you're that's yours. That's yeah. yours. I cannot build stuff in yours. The workers will not help. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, well, fortify two because you start to have troops a bit close to my very important um, mm -hmm. district, too. Okay, uh, and you can uh, either place three in resistance HQ, or you can try and start a revolt. Mm. I think uh, there's actually a reasonably sized force, uh, like right here. So I think I'm going to put three here, just as a little bit of insurance. Huh. Um, so if I need to, I can start expanding out from there again. So I just thought I'd uh, explain how it works. Um, oh, yeah. 
if you decide to revolt, mm -hmm. uh, what happens is you roll 2d12, and you can place your units into either of those two districts that mm -hmm. you rolled. So it could be District 11 or District yeah. 12. Um, and if you roll two the same, you can place into that district or you, any adjacent district. So it's mm -hmm. gives you a... OK. Yeah, yeah, but I think, I think his move is right because mm. I was really, really, really looking at the... <laughs> You know what? Forget all the subtlety, just storm <laughs> Cut 13. The storm, yeah. storm the gates. <laughs> the yeah. Storm 13. Well, so. As it stands, you still have a, a decent force there to come and get me, but... But unfortunately, you would fire first, which is a, a mm. big deterrent. No. Well, the, the thing is, from where we are, uh, you would move from here once, I would then move this stuff here to here, you would then move here to here, and then I would move here to here. And then I would have all of this back in here against that, and hopefully take it out. Yes, wow. I. You're right. If we, if we, if if I made a threatening move like that, where basically I, I, I would choose this as the as the area. State, so all of the staging district. Yeah. yeah. So everything would build up Flop here, in. and yeah. then on the other end, no. If I did that, then only your craft could could go in, and they would be murdered. I think. Mm. Well, uh, one, two, three, four. I could get five orcs and five troops. Ten. Actually, it would be an interesting battle. That means mm. you would, if I did that threat, then you would have to turn around and to, come after you uh, to, to do. Yeah, to consider. <laughs> but, um, mm. Mm. Oh, something we haven't actually done. Uh, oh. Did you place 12 uh, Rebellion tokens? Oh, there's 12 Rebellion tokens yeah. in here? Oh, to start okay. with, at the yeah. beginning okay. of the game, yes. Because they are full Rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> Two, four, um, six. Okay, Eight. but it is the capital's um, yes, turn to, um, to choose where to move. 12. Yeah, I'll give you your 12 I will pop them in here. Tokens. Uh, where would you like to move some stuff? Okay, so now I have the big choice. Like you said, and thank you for making the plan for me, because I wasn't <laughs> thinking that. Um, so I could concentrate all forces in six and then send a, a strike of aircraft and five paratroopers into, into 13. <laughs> That's one option. We'll go for the big battle of Doom. The other one is they'll keep just resisting, deflecting and buying time, because eventually mm. the resistance will falter. So, <laughs> hmm. I think we'll... I think that feels like too many eggs in one basket. Yeah. Uh, I shall pick probably eight as the place where we want to go. Mm. Yes. Eight is the place where we want to go. And in eight, we shall send some troopers mm -hmm. from there. So we leave. Actually, no, I'll leave them there. I think I can see them from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So oh. I was just thinking if they come in here. Yeah, that's. Uh, Ooh, that's they will fire first, right? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot to fortify the capital. Can I fortify the capital? <laughs> you can yes, fortify you can. Them, of course. That would have been a good idea. Um, Back. Feed, feeding them as well as. Um, um, four, five, yes. six, seven, eight. Eight guys that fire first. Right. Just in case. Yes. Right. Okay, we'll do that instead. <laughs> okay, so basically, I had to make the call whether to uh, go for the the HQ or pull back and defend, and mm -hmm. I basically decided, you know what, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll we'll pull back and defend. Mm -hmm. Anybody else that goes in there, I mean, he's going to die there, so mm -hmm. I might as well bring him here and do something useful with yes, his life. Well, you could also do the same in ten. I could, but ten, I was thinking of maybe giving you a fight, actually. Okay. So, um, all right, uh, Justin, choose an area. Where are you gonna? Spread out from. Oh, I'm going to spread out from it. <laughs> we thought you might. So, these will go here. Uh huh. These will go here. Yeah, uh, it's going for that. He'll go here. This will go here. And I'm just going to totally abandon <laughs> this yes. area and go to here. So, you'll turn up to. Actually, no, I'll go to. Actually, it won't matter because I can go where I want to anyway. You turn up to fight, and you discover we've all hopped on our hovercraft yeah. and went away. <laughs> Where's the resistance? They were all st straw puppets. <laughs> and all these straw puppets holding sticks. They go, what? What? Scramble! <laughs> where, where are they? Um, all right. So it, this was a normal move. So you chose to move out of there. I chose to move into there. Mm -hmm. yep. you and what's the Air Force doing? And yeah. now my hovercraft. Now, the fact that they went the other way means my hovercraft cannot reach them here. There's no point in bringing stuff in there. So I think recapturing three is probably what my Air Force is going to do. Mm -hmm. So we'll move in force into three and have a word with this gentleman here. <laughs> we probably don't need too much. <coughs> I mean, these four should be fine because we fire first, thanks to our fortifications. Mm -hmm. So really, you should be dead. So the question is where to re 
resend these other forces. We mm. can keep the threat up there. We'll bring two of them here for future mm -hmm. deployment. Mm -hmm. I think we leave two here and this will come here. Mm -hmm. These overcraft here will... Now, my, pl my plan was to fly in here and help this guy out, but mm -hmm. <laughs> now that would mean probably dying. <laughs> for, for a noble cause. Yes. Yeah, possibly. But on the other hand, there's three overcasts that could through three troops into, into two. I don't want to lose two. So we'll stay right there to defend two in case they, they turn up behind our barricade. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these overcraft will not move. Fantastic. Enough, so, so my hovercraft moves. I'll go to five, because I have just a little yes, bit of a border here. Indeed. And I'll send that and that there. I'll keep a hovercraft here just to ensure this fight. Uh, here, this hovercraft is just going to... It'll fly off back to here. Uh -huh. Back to HQ. Um, this is is really like yeah, from a capital point of view, you have huge concentration <laughs> of forces. You know, you can go yeah. stomp, defend big things, but then this happens, and they're all over the place, and this cat and go, "Whoa, we, th we thought they were here, not they're gone." Ah. Yeah. You see, th this is what I I thought about after we played our initial demo game was I was trying to play as the capital during that game. I was trying to keep my forces consolidated, have big fights, but now I've decided I know I'm going to lose if you get me. <laughs> But if I can get everywhere, you can't be everywhere. That's right. Big fights. Mm -hmm. Even if you win them, but if I kill a lot of your guys, I work in my favor because yeah. I get potentially 12 here every turn. Exactly. So, uh, you know, big fights are definitely not to your advantage. And yeah. you, seem, you seem to have understood that. <laughs> well, my, my other thinking is, because of the way this is laid out, I don't really want to go into here because I know you're going to be getting reinforced a lot. However, if you start moving these guys out of here, that becomes a tempting target. In the meantime, I can have my hovercraft flying around your back lines really annoying you, forcing you to divert troops from coming after my main base. Yeah, and, and causing more rebellion to uprise, because obviously the moment you take out the peacekeepers, mm -hmm. four, four tokens a turn in there. Exactly, so, so it's, nice. it's really making you think, and it also means that I can mm -hmm. take the time to actually build up some forces here, or maybe just scatter some forces, because that's, that's why I haven't done it for the first two turns of this game, is because I've been looking at it going, no, I can't, I have to consolidate, <laughs> and then spread out. Hmm, interesting, okay. right. So operations and mission cards. Uh, yes, so I draw two. Uh, oh yes, you should have done that in the... <laughs> Forgot to. Okay. So I'll have a, a quick read of them, and I still have one. Hmm. Well, without much surprise, I'll reveal it again. I'll do a force march on these guys and go, yeah, you, lo you lose them, you lost them, you need <laughs> poops. Go and find them. Okay, I'm going for mobilization. Send which everybody. actually lets me do your sort of movement tactic into, ah. into District 6. Right. You can guess what's going to happen. <laughs> well, so you place the first character. It's an interesting choice for you. You can try to stop these guys moving out, because again, they could spread out everywhere from here, which is not, not terribly good news from you, for you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or you can try and take six. Mm. So basically, right, where is Katniss going? It's on tactics, which is a D8 for me. So if I choose to oppose you, I'll roll my D8. And if I roll over the four, that changes your target number up. Yeah. Where it's on... A five for mobilization, which means I could take six. I honestly think Katniss is going to oppose you this time. I think is a. I, I agree with you. As no, this time he thinks this is a totally important move. So we'll have the, the face off here. Yeah. So I assume I have to roll first. Yeah. yeah. Luckily for yeah. me, luckily for me, if this is propaganda. Mm. You. I mean, this is uh, tactics, tactics, which means you're not the best. At. Yeah. So a D8, and I'm trying to get over a 40, increase your target number for a six. Six. So six or higher. Yeah. Oh, two. Oh. You don't get it. So there'll be no extra Damn movement this you turn. Fucking Jay! <laughs> <laughs> Snow is lying to you. Don't move. No, stay there. Defend the. No, yes, um, yes. Actually, no. She's actually just poking her head up over a while, going, "I'm here." <laughs> and there goes distraction. The yes, Snow gets completely like, "Oh, capture her." That's right. You, instead of ordering the troops to move out and do their thing, you, she, you <laughs> see Katniss, so he's like, Capture her, all forces! Yeah. <laughs> so they, they waste the entire move trying to get her. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this time we have quite a few fights going on. No. Um, yes, but none quite as big as last, last round. So no. nothing in one, nothing in two. Our uh, first fight is in three. Yeah, so you'll get to fight first Alessio yes. with uh, 2d8. And what do the hovercraft get? Uh, so they get d10s. 
Yeah, they're better at fighting, but on the other hand, they don't count when it comes to occupying the territory. So they're, mm. they're quite good at striking and killing stuff, yes. mm. but not good at uh, controlling the territory. They're actually useless at controlling the territory. But if I get in and actually do a strike to remove all your forces, that's good for me. <laughs> right, so I just need a five. Oof, I almost didn't get it, but yes. <laughs> you got only it. Eventually so one of the things. He dies. He does. Which is fine. Uh, so from three we go to four. four. It's empty. Four. Five, however, is not, and I get to fight first. Yes, you do. So I get two D eight and two D ten. This is the, you this is the, the turn of one sided fights, I think. Yeah. Uh, yep, he's dead. Yes. So ah, good. You look, some, you can get some you reinforcements some you next turn. <laughs> look. Uh, so from there we go to six, which is fine. Uh, that's nine. Oh, sorry, six, which is fine. <laughs> Seven, which is fine. Eight, which is very fine. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nine, which is okay. Ten, which we have a fight. So I get a D eight and two D. Or uh, sorry, two D eight and a yep. D ten. Yep. And we have a fortified that one. Uh, oh, so he's got gone. Six got it. Five. Yep. Uh, hey, look, I get some more guys. <laughs> uh, from ten, we go to eleven, which is fine. And, and eleven, we go to twelve, which I get two D eight to fight. Yep. Die. Ooh. He's ah. dead. He's gone. Okay. Excellent. That is just what I had hoped for. <laughs> okay. Um, so now we move on to the influence phase. So uh, adding and removing rebellion tokens. Did Alessio get any fighting back? Uh, no. I don't think so. No, no. you'll run away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, District 1, nothing is mm -hmm. changing. District uh, 2 is fine. District 2, nothing is changing. Uh, District 3. 3, nothing is changing because there's uh, only two peacekeepers. Yeah, because they don't remove. They don't okay. count, yeah. There's yep. only the peacekeeper. Then 4, gains 1. Okay, one it's hard to oppress one. people with an air force. Yep. Uh, In, uh, 5. Uh, 5 adds 4. Lovely. Since there are no peacekeepers there at all. Uh huh. One, two, three, four. Uh, six, uh, which is always That's hiding. Fine. Um, Seven. Yeah. So uh, sorry, one. Yeah. Sorry, si six yeah, adds one. I'm looking one, at it actually. back to front. <laughs> okay. Six adds one. Yeah. Seven adds one. So adds one. It uh, eight removes two. Pr yeah. yeah. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of them off. Uh, uh, nine, nine. Nothing. Nothing. 10, Ten and, uh, is sorry, just under yeah. my control. Yep. 11, 11 is under, under control. my control. 12, 12 four. adds 4. Oof. And another 4. Excellent. <laughs> and it's not well fed this time. Mm -hmm. No. So, That's roll it. for uprisings. Yes. So uh, roll for uprisings. In 1. So, in 1, I need to roll a, a 1. A 1. That would be better. <laughs> <laughs> that was, it's that, fine. That was on the edge of 1. Uh, my in God. 2. 2, again, the 1. Oh, Seven. And three. 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 Uh, well fed, so three or less on two. Yeah. Not, not likely to happen. Yep. No. no. Almost. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, uh, in four. four. Uh, two or less on one. Yeah. Yep. Nope. Five. Five. Uh, there's, five or less. There's five, five or less. less. Yeah. Three. It uh, turns. That turns. So resistance. Immediately place a resistance hovercraft in this. Ooh, district. lovely. There you go, sir. That's excellent. My so offensive can continue. You remove these, yes? Uh, yep. yep. So uh, six. Yep. Six. Uh, so five or less? Five or less. A five? No! That's another hovercraft. Another hovercraft for me. Yeah, and lose half of those. Uh, so yep. you lose yeah, two, two so of those. Two of them. Yeah. Oh, off you go. Uh, so seven. Uh, two or less? Nope. No. Eight. Uh, eight. Don't roll. No. Nope. Nine. Don't roll. 10 don't roll, 11 don't roll, 12 is 8 or less. Yeah. Oh, phew. It's a 9 actually, so it's no, it nine. doesn't turn. Oh. One turn of. Okay, so yeah. four, four districts have turned. You're halfway there. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yes, you are. Hmm. And, um, and uh, we clean up the uh, tokens and yep. uh, move on the turn tracker. Yes. So we could have a look at what would happen if, for example, the first stretch goal was reached Ooh. at this point. Are we going to yeah. add some stuff? Uh, so this unlocks uh, more characters, mm -hmm. which gives you a bit more sort of options when you're placing down your your, um, your missions. Uh, missions. Your missions. Oh, okay. So with more characters to play around with, you can put mm -hmm. down more missions and perhaps actually yeah, try sure. try and go for go for more stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so if we want to grab the um, the mm -hmm. first few. Uh, Stretch goals. All oh, right, we have them beside us. <laughs> we do. Okay, um, well, uh, let me pop this out. Wait, wait. There we go. Uh, so, so, what are the first stretch goals that are only hopefully being passed as we speak? Well, <laughs> what is the resistance one, isn't it? The 
Yes, so uh, we have Gail, mm -hmm. Peter. Have a look at Gail, uh, surely. Yes. Beautiful. Christo, where, He's lovely. Where is Peter hiding? He's a uh, tactics uh, expert, obviously. Oh, goody. Uh, <laughs> That'll make life a little easier. <laughs> Gail, Peter, Boggs, and Finnick, did I say? We might need to. Amish? Amish. Uh, Amish. Amish, that was it. <laughs> You wanted Amish. You like it. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's my favorite. Now, how many of these characters do I get right now? Um, so, usually you would get a certain amount per turn. Mm -hmm. So, you'd actually start with um, with none. Okay. And then, on the first turn, you'd get to choose, okay. choose a couple, choose a couple. All right. So, um, um, with uh, whereas mm. the capital starts with all of theirs. Mm. So, I think since we're in turn two, yeah. uh, let's just... Um, I'll take two. I'll take two. I'll play fair, <laughs> It'll give Alessio some tactical choices. And then if you want to grab... Yeah, let's give Alessio his as well. Are yeah. they from the, the first round of stretch goals or the second? Uh, so this is from the second, okay. second yeah, round okay. of stretch goals. Yeah, let, right. let's, let's make it balanced because I don't want to just suddenly get extra off. characters. Okay. <laughs> so I get Egeria, the secret uh, operative, and more importantly, she's a flicker man. So I can oh, change God. my hair color every, <laughs> every few minutes <laughs> and have a TV show. Mm. Okay. Reality TV. So nice I think, obviously, I'm going to grab Hamish. So I think that's here. And who else well, do I have? You would have had two, four, six by now. Well, so I oh, so can, will I just get all of them? If we start from the start, yeah. Okay. If, if you assume we're... Okay. And do I have that. stat cards for these? But, uh, you do indeed. Um, so there's Gale. Okay. Boggs. Hamish. Okay. And Peter. And Peter. Okay. And you can put them all in 13. Like I put them all in the capital. Oh, well, my only three. <laughs> all right, so we, we just finished deprogramming PETA. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, we failed. Failed uh, to kill Katniss, I'm afraid. Well. OK, so uh, new round then. So let's round jump three. in from district abilities. Yeah. Yes, so, so the capital can reinforce, and I could get the three guys there. Actually, I don't think I want to, because anyway, they will appear here. They're just three enough, which is enough to mm -hmm. fill these. So I'll go for the move out okay. option. If I go for the move out option, I have to be wary that you could send in some air force and some. You should still have some fortifies as oh, well. Oh yes, yeah. I will fortify and put some and leave quite a decent amount of troops in there. The other thing I'm noticing is we can't play cards into the capital or the resistance mm. HQ. Yeah, so no, those ones you have to win the old-fashioned way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now I have a big choice. I think. I mean, the, the, the districts that are turning seems to be on the coast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I think I'll send... See, the sense of freedom. <laughs> I'll send some troops. I'll, basically, I'll pick this as the territory where... Ooh, mm -hmm. Or I could pick 12 and just send somebody and then just use the aircraft. Uh, it, just has, it has to be adjacent to the capital that you move out to. Oh, sorry, I thought I was in the, in the moment phase. This is, this is actually the reinforcement phase. Yes, sorry, yes. sorry. I, I was carrying, I was going ahead in the, ahead in the turn. Mm -hmm. This is me moving out to the capital. Yes. Yeah, moving out to the capital, then we'll move some reinforcements into. Yeah, see where they're going, these guys. Uh, we'll start from the north. So we'll send two, four, six. We basically pick four as the okay. as the one. Uh, so luxuries, remove two rebellion tokens from any capital district. Remove two, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll remove two from here. Okay, from three. Yep. Uh, okay. Masonry, uh, place a fortification token. Place a fortification oh, token. So if you want to pass those three as oh, well, because yes. they'll they'll pop into yes, isn't it? Uh, luxury and then masonry. So one, one and there, then two yeah, here. Two here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So. We will put a fortification token. I suspect fortifying two is probably a good idea. Mm. <laughs> um, yes, and uh, remember your capital as well if you want to. Uh, yes, thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. uh, three tech. Um, so that's an operations card for you. Operations and card. It is, it is still is around. Now more interesting. Uh, fishing, well fed. Ooh, where do you want to be well fed? Fishing, well fed. Well fed, well fed. Looks like 12 needs to be well fed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, power. Place a. Uh, so power's gone, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So no power, no transportation. Lumber. Um, fortification token. Fortification token. This time I remember to fortify the capital. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, textiles. Remove two rebellion tokens. In fact, I remove them from 
the place itself. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, grain uh, well fed. Do we still have grain? We do. A well fed token. Right. Mm -hmm. We'll have it there. Okay. Uh, then we have livestock and agriculture, which are gone. Ah, and actually, this turned to me. So oh, so oh it's you yours. Can, you can't. You yours. can't feed them. Okay. In which case, if I cannot feed them, I shall feed these guys. In four. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oops. Sorry. Wrong token. Yep. Well <laughs> fed. Yep. Okay. Uh, and finally, mining, which is fortification token. Did we do that? I uh, don't think we've done that yet. No. How many fortification tokens? Um, I have two at the moment already on the table. So Probably. yeah, another because that's lumber and masonry. So mining mm -hmm. is the last one. One more fortification. So this is yep. very interesting because I have to choose where do we think we're going to have a fight. Mm -hmm. And I suspect it will be somewhere around here, but because mm -hmm. there's a lot of orcs and infantry. These are your, and I cannot fortify these two because they're yours. Keep mm -hmm. that in mind. I cannot fortify that. I cannot fortify that. One, two, three, four, yes. So where is the fight going to happen? I think you might be going for here. I'm tempted to fortify 12 while we still mine and try to take mm. it back, yes. We'll go, last push, last push, try to get 12 mm. under control. Okay, and okay. then you can do your, your revolt or? Yeah, I can either revolt or I can go into there and then still have my movement. Do, 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 do. So if I would have then nine here with a hovercraft going into three to try and take it, it would be interesting. But I think this time I will revolt. Okay. I, will, I will pop up somewhere randomly this time just to throw a wild card in there. In seven and in two. Uh, so seven, seven or in two. Yeah. Or in two. So you can pop three guys either in seven or in... I think I'm going to go seven because you only have one guy there. Oh, he's got his own. It's, it's another zone to think about where I'm not just instantly going to get wiped out. Hmm. And, and the game uh, is within, on the border of the capital, so it makes me nervous. Yes. Indeed. Um, so we move on to movement. Mm -hmm. uh, Did you draw you two after yourself? Cards? And oh. two mission cards for you. Now you, you're going to need them because mm. you have quite a few operatives. Yes. Right. So I have to make my big choice. Mm -hmm. Am I going to invade five, trying to take it back? Or I'm going to go into 12 to just try to not make it revolt. Mm. Okay. So if I go into 5, I'm sending troops from here. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I will pick 12 mm -hmm. as the place to go. Sending. So while here we have 1, 2, 3. One guy, mm -hmm. uh, two, two guys in there, yes. Okay, so I send those guys in there, they will stay here. Mm -hmm. In fact, in fact, I will send the overcross without troops in there. Okay. Yeah, for flexibility. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was my moving into that. So the, the orders from the capital are take 12 back, because it looks like it's about to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for my own movements, indeed, uh, I'm thinking here with three guys, leaving three behind just in case any hovercraft try to jump in. Actually, I'll leave a fourth guy. So are you popping out into six or twelve? Or? Uh, popping out into three. Or just three. So you're going from there, but the the only spread into into three. Yes, okay. only into three, because I think I think leaving four guys. If you're bringing hovercraft, I'm getting to fight first, so I have a decent chance of taking those out before they get to fight, and then you're only fighting with D8s, and I'll still have enough there to fight you later. So if you like, just take a, a cheeky little nip at my base, you're not going to be able to, I think, which I think is is fine with me now. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Alessio, hovercraft. Your hovercraft. My hovercraft. So. Send a force back to defend three, because there we there we fire first. However, here you fire first. Mm -hmm. Do I want to have a battle there, or do I want to actually? I could send them all in there, and then you could go jump in with all of those guys. I have to defend two. Ah, too many places. This <laughs> resistance is just it's just like. Trying to control slippery mercury, <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. 
the fact that you move after me is so powerful. Yes. Yeah. So powerful. So very difficult to get to grips with them. So I kind of have to, more than thinking of getting grips with you, I should really think which territories do I want to have my troops in. Yes. And I think the one where you cannot do too much, I believe, is this one. So we in shall. Three? Okay. We shall send the Air Force completely there. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'll do that. Ah, okay. So overcraft there. Shall I send these guys in there or not? Is my next question. Oh, so you fire first there. You fire first. The I fire first there. Mm -hmm. Stay there. Okay. Oh, okay. and these guys. And uh, they will. They will defend too. They. <laughs> they're worried. Okay. So that yeah. was my overcraft. Now your overcraft. I'm really curious to see what you're going to do. Uh, hmm. Honestly, what I'm going to do is this one's going to go here, yeah. and this one's <laughs> going to go here. Yeah. I don't really care about this right now because this is still going to get a little more rebellion on it. That this I can clear out and start gaining some more rebellion and actually start maybe chewing into one. Uh, over here, hmm. I could put four hovercraft and three guys. And you would fire first, which I don't like. In here, I could put three hovercraft, so there would definitely maybe one guy left, or I could really go for it. I think no guts, no glory. So commit the air force. Everybody's going into four to try and have a bit of a ruck. Is hovercraft going anywhere? Uh, can't really reach anywhere of importance. Of course, I might be wise having it retreat a little. So, yes, it will move from here to here with one guy. Because then I can maybe choose that and move into it. Okay. Well, at least you engaged somewhere. I could have a fight. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cards? We move on to operations and missions. Yeah. Right. So, how many oh. cards are we allowed to put down? Uh, so, now you're allowed to put down as many as you like. Okay. But, um, of course, if you don't have the guys to put on them, they're not mm. going to be. They only activate if they put a hero there. Of course. So and you have to kind of think. So you place you place one first, then Alessio places one. Yeah. Then okay. You place one. As a rule of thumb, really, you should think about half of them. You will want to put a hero to activate the mission, and about half of them mm -hmm. of your heroes will want to. So it, keep at least three heroes to try to tackle <laughs> my missions, basically, because you know I'm going to do three or up yeah. to three. Okay. So. And you start. I think I will put this into number four okay. to begin with. Okay. I play Force March on three. You mean a card of. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Yes. No, we're the capital. We always declare our intentions. <laughs> <laughs> I play a card. He says, he what says snow isn't on it. I wonder what it is. Uh, I will play three. one into twelve here. Okay. So now my from you? question is whether I want to put another card in or not. Mm. It's interesting that you placed that, which stopped me from playing a card there. I really wanted to play a card there. Yeah. Tell me. No, no, I, uh, what I'm playing there, I'm hoping will actually be a little <laughs> bit painful for you. And the other thing, the only funny thing, I don't know if you were intentionally doing this, but the other place where I really wanted to play it was over there. Yeah. Which, <laughs> again, you seem to have seen that coming. Hmm. Well, I looked at 12 and I thought, if if you're trying something here, would you try something here? Because if you can get more and more forces clumped together here to jump into my base in a big fist. Well, what I'm thinking is, at the moment, I'm thinking, I have one mission there, which I want to activate, so I will put a character there. And there's two of your missions there, which I probably want to trump, which means mm -hmm. I probably need the other two heroes. So by putting another mission, yeah, I'm kind of... You're burning the mission, but you're leaving yourself flexible if mine aren't too uh, bad. I think I'll uh, I'll stop putting missions. Okay. I'm okay. I will put one more down. Oh. Rather. And I will actually play it into somewhere where I think you're actually quite secure, which is District 2. Okay. And the fact that you have a number of operatives means that you can do this, this and uh, mm -hmm. still have yeah. yes, the flexibility reserves. to try and stop you. So, shall we flip them all over? Yeah. Yep. So, what is it? 
So here we have mobilization. Mobilization in 12, a proper shoot in, uh, in 2. Yeah, you have forced march in 3. Yes, as I <laughs> clearly am <laughs> declared here. Mm -hmm. And you have a gambit in 4. All right, so in order, uh, what do they do? Let's find out. So the proper shoot, place a rebellion token in this district wherever, whenever Peacekeeper is captured. Yeah, so um, if the operation card doesn't say it's discarded as well, it stays until mm -hmm. it's sort of pushed out by you. Mm -hmm. um, so that is something that can so sit there for the rest of the game. Perhaps. to try and do that. So basically, this wouldn't do anything this turn, but in the future, if this stays in place, every time there's a, there's a, there's a fight, and every time a peacekeeper is, uh, captured. is captured, then you get re rebellion markers. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a very popular, uh, basically boosts the uprising yep. if there's a combat there. OK, and this one, Gambit, would, each time a resistance unit is captured in this district, the resistance player may choose a capital unit. In this. All right, so every time I capture one of you, one of mine gets captured as well. So yes. So it, it kind of evens out the, the, the losses, which is, yep. I fear, is a bit more than I feared that. Mm -hmm. And what's the other one? In uh, the other one is mobilization, so I can get some troops moved into here. You can move troops into that. Uh, well, see. it's, yeah, so I can pick this zone and move some stuff in, so I can bring the same stuff from the, 11 yep. into here to yep. sort of reinforce this a bit. It is the way I move normally, yeah. Because yeah. interestingly, that card gives you the ability of moving like the capital, uh -huh. while this card that gives me the ability to move like the resistance. Exactly, spread, spread mark. This allows you to concentrate, this allows me to, to spread out. Yeah. So, okay, and this, you start to play characters? You did, you uh, put yep. captains there. I yep. think I want my so, best um, tactician yep. on that one. Now that so we've got your best tactician. <laughs> oh, it is Mr. Snow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that we've got a few more characters as well, yep. that opens up a, another uh, thing that you can do is mm -hmm. that uh, you can place your characters on other people's cards. You can also place characters on your cards on the secondary mm -hmm. um, zone. What that means is that you roll so both of your characters die Gee. and use the higher. So uh, you can actually, if you really want something to happen, double up on it. I'm going to actually put Boggs onto here. Because <laughs> he's got uh, a... D12 in tactics. It is the best uh, tactician you have. So we have the two best tactician trying to stop the force marshes, which makes sense. Of mind. So mm -hmm. I could reinforce that by putting somebody else, some of my characters as well, on the tactics box, eh? mm -hmm. on this box here, which I could send my second best tactician, which is a Geria there, which is a D10. So she, you know, she actually could contribute. Mm -hmm. Or I could try to stop some of the <laughs> rebellion mm -hmm. evil planes. Uh, it worth to say that actually, as we see now, this phase of the uh, the, the missions of operations phase is, has become more of a thing. There's a yeah. lot more going. Yeah, so it's we, play and counterplay. We have tried this with uh, four players. Mm -hmm. And that's the way the four players is quite an intriguing way of playing, where you have a military commander, which mm -hmm. moves the units, mm -hmm. and a secret ops commander. Yeah. It's almost like the army and the CIA, the army mm -hmm. and the secret services. and. The other, the two basically one plans the, the moves, the other one chooses the missions, ah. and they cannot communicate oh. about that. Yeah, they cannot speak during the during yeah. the game. They, of course, difference. you can agree beforehand, but then you don't speak during the game, which gives you the level of mistrust, miscommunication that mm -hmm. happens in reality uh, between services, mm -hmm. and makes it very interesting in terms of play the, the kind of uh, bridge kind of. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so if I do the, if he sees that move and he sends his troops there, like like you move that. You move this mm -hmm. here, knowing that you were going to give it the chance of going there. Yeah, just bring but it on if there in, were two yeah. players, then the other guy would have moved that there, inviting you to do that without yeah. telling you. It was going, oh, yes. I wonder why I'm doing this. You know, yeah. come on, get Whereas it, understand. If if the other player was a little silly, he might have went, oh, well, they're there. I can get them mobilized into here to actually take this zone while exactly. leaving our base exposed, <laughs> leaving all those guys with nothing to do. Absolutely. So there is that. Mm -hmm. interesting working together without communicating, which is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. It also makes it go faster because okay, it also gives, while a guy is thinking about the military side, the other guy is thinking on the missions. Yes, 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 yes definitely. Speeds up. Very cool. OK, so. Um, uh, you're to place it, I see. Yes, you're It's my place. turn to place operative. So now I have the choice. Do I want to try to stop that? Not too worried about that. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about that, definitely. What, the mobilization? But you haven't activated yeah. yet, but I'm sure you will activate it. So I need mm -hmm. tactics there. I'll send a Jiria, my second best tactician to mm -hmm. try to neutralize that. I will send Gale. Gale there, yeah. Okay. 
And now my last guy, Flickerman. Flickerman is good at propaganda, obviously, so he would be good at trying to stop that, and he'll be good at trying to stop that. I think he will try and stop the, the Gambit here. Mm -hmm. Try to. Okay, so I have two characters left. Yeah. I have PETA and I have Hamish. So Hamish is great at Intel. Intel would make the Gambit happen. So he go to here. And then what's PETA good at? PETA's good at propaganda. Hmm. You don't need anybody else here because. Oh, actually, no, it could help because in case Katniss fails, yeah. you would get him. So you yeah. could make extra sure of this, or you can fight Flickerman here in the propaganda, his speciality. Mm. Or you can use. Ah, but you, you're doing it against my intel? Uh, I'm using, you're using intel mm -hmm. and using propaganda, but if you send a reinforcement here, you will also oh, use propaganda. Oh, I see, I see. It's, so the, secondary. it's the, 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 second the secondary mark on here actually yep. tells you which stat you're using for yep. that. I get it now. Because basically, he's doing something secretly and stealthy using intel, but he's using propaganda to kind of go, no, don't listen to this okay. secret. I may have done a kind of roll earlier in this game using the wrong <gasps> stat. Apologies. Uh, oh, I hope we were not paying attention. Mm. We trusted you. Uh, yeah, I will send be paid for that. Peter over there <laughs> to uh, actually can hmm. reinforce the tactics, tactics. Propaganda. Actually, I really want to make propaganda. sure my mobilization happens. His tactic is tactics isn't great, but he will go here as well. But he's better than ever. <laughs> yes, you never know. The dice are fickle, and it makes a big difference with polyhedral dice to be able to roll two dice because yes. you may have a great tactician there, but if the great tactician can roll a one, yeah. <laughs> therefore, if you have another dice, even if it's not as good, that yeah. can roll an eight or yeah. something. So it's, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in district order, right now so missions resolve them two in two. There's only Katniss, so can she make a nice proper shoot there? She needs a five so. or more. On it, she does. She does. So fine. this card becomes active. Mm -hmm. So rebellion token uh, whenever a fixed gift is captured. So at the moment nothing will happen. Mm -hmm. We put a card there that means that the thing is permanently active. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so from two we go to three, which is your one. Yeah. Okay. So I have to roll so tactics. So you roll tactics. And of I roll tactics D12. as well. Yep. 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 So, so roll off for great tactics here. And it. Oh. And eight. And eight. So it goes to the person whose card it is. Uh, so Snow, once again, mm -hmm. manages uh, to do it. Manages just, to do it. Just, just, just. So do you want to do your forced march? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll take him back. Away. This one is discarded. Forced march. So basically, we'll, we'll play like the resistance. Now the choices are interesting. You, If that goes off, yes. then you'll be able to move troops into that. Mm -hmm. So if I move out and go there, I'll risk being swarmed. On the other hand, we fire first there. But I'm also tempted to come here mm -hmm. because I really like uh, to take so out twelve or nine. You're looking at. I'm taking out. This would allow me to take out your um, your overcrafts, and I really would like to kill your overcrafts. You can move in different directions, can't you? Yeah, basically, this is like it. the resistance. It allows me to move like the resistance. Yeah. Well, like, it allows you to concentrate. So you, allows you could me to go after spread. both if you really want it. I could, I could, but let's see. Divide and conquer goes there. Mm -hmm. And you fire first, yeah. So I really would like to make sure. Ooh. Sorry, one aircraft. Uh, with the trooper, uh, there is also fight. Still a fight here as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you fire first there. No, you know what? We'll do that. Mm -hmm. Minus maybe. Oh, no, I have to take. <laughs> Did it there or bring it with me? Three guys against one. You fire <laughs> first. Mm -hmm. Not so important. Yeah, that. Okay. 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 Um, right, so spread out of three. Yeah. So from three we go to four. Four. So four. we have our gambit. Yeah, yep. that's uh, Amish trying to make it happen on a file on in, in Intel. D twelve for propaganda, I believe. But and I've yes. got a D ten. For an eight. An eight. So Flicker man beats fails. the five as well. So uh, <laughs> So, so this is another one that It'll yep, stay active, yep. stay active yep. 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 basically means if you get to kill any of my guys, I'm taking one of you with me. Well, yeah. capture, capture. So essentially, <laughs> to get rid of these uh, in future missions and operations yep. um, phases, uh, Alessio can play to the secondary zone again. Mm -hmm. And if you don't play someone to basically defend it, yep. it's gone immediately. Got otherwise, it. there's a roll off. Got it. But, um, That's interesting. OK, so from four, we go to five. Five has nothing. Six has nothing. I think it's just nothing. twelve. Left, over there. Is it just twelve? Yeah. Okay. So. Twelve. Yeah. So this Ooh. is a jury on a so D. This is a big one. So what's it? Is it tactics? Tactics. tactics. She's on a D ten on tactics. Uh, D ten, and ten. you're on. And Peter is on Peter, an eight. So, um, so Peter's on eight, and uh, Gail is on a twelve. Is it D ten? Oh, D ten. 
Okay. Ten, Ooh. says Egeria. Seven, oh, no Egeria says no. Damn. She's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that gets uh, discarded. That's going to hurt. Your character goes back. My characters come back. Luckily, because you had Peter and Gale there. Uh, that doesn't sound like a good team to me. <laughs> just work, they weren't working together. <laughs> like, she likes me more than you. No, she likes me more than you. <laughs> Wait, weren't we meant to be having people like move here? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. All right. Now it gets messy. Okay, okay so we move on to combat. Mm, and indeed. there's a few. There is. Um, so one is fine, two is fine, three. There's a bit of a scuffle. So yeah. Uh, so I get to fight first with my lonely D. Yet. Go on. To kill no uh, one. Let's see who gets three back at me. See if we can get him. You got him. Uh, we got him. Oh yeah. Several well. times over. So he's gone. Go home. <laughs> right. Uh, so uh, we three, go four. Four is the next one. Yeah. So Ooh. I get to fight first. You do indeed. Did you do? So it's oh, 3d10. Yeah, it's well fed, but it's not fortified. And is that one or two? two. Or you got 2d8s and 3d10s. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's, that's a double. Yeah. That's a double and another double. Double hit, that's double hit. You rolled that's more than you actually seven. rolled. Yeah. Wow. Two, four, five, six, seven casualties. Didn't, didn't even need the gambit. <laughs> Why? But so it's still there. But it's still there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I can live with that. That was uh, pretty brutal. Wiped them out. All of them. Damn. Okay. And that right. leaves me feeling a lot more comfortable. So five, oh nothing. Six, nothing. Seven. Uh, I get to fight first with 3D8. Oh yeah, dear. this is... Uh, oh dear. Rebellion are coming out swinging. Oh, yes. He's very extremely, dead. Very extremely gone. gone. <laughs> extremely captured. Yes. Captured from prejudice. Extremely <laughs> <laughs> prejudice, indeed. Uh, eight, nothing. Nine, we have a bit of a fight. Do you a fight scuffle? first there or uh, me? Nope, there's no... I um... don't think I fortified it. No, we buried it in the unit, but no. Okay, so Let's two see. D10s and a D8 for me. Yep. yep. Uh, so uh, that's two, two. Uh, two hits. I will take out two open. of your hovercraft. Okay. Because they have the biggest hits at the minute. There, okay. there. So you're on 48. Yes. 48. And a D10. And one D10. Your fives. Don't get me. Nothing. Nothing. Whiffed it. <laughs> I kid you not. Useless. My weapons are useless. I'll have all of them sh uh, <laughs> captured, I mean. Okay, um, so you, you do know this is the Hunger Games franchise, <laughs> not the Star Wars franchise? You're not playing Stone Trooper here? I don't know the why. <laughs> what? Useless. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> useless. Whiffed it. Troopers. Dice happen. Dice okay, happen. so from yeah, nine so we got a ten, ten is fine, eleven, 11 is, fine, is fine, twelve. You get the fire first. Forty-eight and a D ten. So yeah. no chance of missing forty-eight and a D ten. Right. <clears throat> you get me. Two hits. Two hits. Uh, okay. Just enough. Two go. Just enough. I don't get to fight back. And so, we are and that's, good. That's, that's combat. So we're back to influence. Yes. This is going to be interesting. So, so in one nothing. Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, they, so we they remove one. one. Yep. Because we. We have one more than the yep. two we need. Uh, two loses two. one. Two loses one. Yep. Uh, three loses one. Yep. So we pacify some districts. Come so on. So four. Four gain. Uh, sorry, doesn't. Oh yeah. Four no, gains, gains four. four. Yep. Four gains four indeed. One, two, three. Uh, five in my control. Five is four. nothing. Six. Six gains one. So six in your. Uh, yeah, sorry, six loses games one. one. This is under control of the resistance. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Sorry. oh yeah. so it loses, so it loses one. one because of the peacekeeper yep. there. Yep. Uh, so he starts, he starts to recapture yep. it. Yep. Um, uh, seven against four. Yep. It does. It does. There is a good uh, there's a uh, half a chance that things might go very none. poorly in the uh, mm. influence phase here. Uh, here. Nine against one. Uh, against two. Against two. two because they're uh, busy fighting, fighting okay. so there's no, there's no uh, control okay. of the Excellent. ground. Excellent. Uh, tens in my control, uh, eleven in my see, control. If, least, if you got uh, at least one, one, I could have killed him, and <laughs> yeah. there would have been no. So uh, nine, ten, so ten, nothing, eleven, nothing. nothing. Twelve, 12 is actually going to lose a few. Oh, two, yeah. two. No, it was two, isn't it? Just two. Because basically, you add two, and then remove, Take two, remove right. four. So yeah, there you go. Two. That's okay. Mm. Right. Let me do some rolling. So nothing for one, nothing for two, uh, nothing uh, for three. three Four? Four. Four, we have a roll four. So well two fed. dice. Well fed. On a six. Six or less. Uh, one there or four, we go. it turns. So I was really pleased with myself. I thought, ah, I'll put a first fed here. I saw it all coming. And then you still managed to pull it off. It was a clever move. But, um, what did I get? 
Uh, so two two resistance. Awesome. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Um, Are you losing half of these? Yes. <laughs> so three of those go uh, So four, five we don't do. Six, uh, two or less on one. Yep. And eight, no good. Seven. Oh, no, sorry, six was already changed. Yep. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, so seven, seven is four, four or less on one. Uh, six, no good. Uh, eight it's is fine. fine. Uh, nine, nine is uh, on a two. Two or less. Four, no Phew. good. Ten, Ten is mine, eleven, 11 is mine, twelve, twelve. Two dice is six or less. Six or less. And or a one and, and a nine. nine. So one, one two, third, three, twelve four, managed to survive. Five. So you you've gained one. Yeah. You okay. gained one, which yeah. is good for me. I thought it, this could have gone worse. That could have mm -hmm. gone worse. So I'm looking okay. to see. You've kind of kept the the northern districts to yourself. Yeah, one, two, the loyalist districts are doing well, mm. but the, the cost, the coast, <laughs> yeah. really, the cost is, this the is 12 the is still... When I was thinking before we started playing about where I was going to move, I thought from here I have the biggest space to actually spread out and give you the most areas to deal with. So. Yeah, yeah. He's kind of definitely doing a ring. Yeah. Yeah. If 12 sooner or later will go, I guess. Yeah, well, it's, it's, six it's, it's is gone. Spiral. It's the it's the coast, isn't it? It's just the six the gone. sea. Yeah. yeah, six is gone. Mm -hmm. So seven looks like <laughs> in danger. So we we have to kind of think which ones are likely to go on war for those. So twelve is critical. Seven could be the one. Mm -hmm. and, but on the other end, that will bring you to seven territories. So you need one more to win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have to think of an extra one. So, okay. Well, um, so. Let's begin. Uh, yep, with the capital. Uh, would you like to gain seven or move out? Gain seven or gain three, because if I gain the seven in here, then I cannot reinforce That's these. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's literally I could get three instead of seven mm -hmm. and move out. But actually, moving out of the capital at the moment. Very <laughs> with, risky because with, in the back lines. With all of these guys, kind <coughs> of, well, these guys really, mm -hmm. in, uh, in, within range. So I think I will reinforce instead. Okay, I'll get so all of those for you. So seven of these. Hold <laughs> them up. Um, then luxuries. Uh, remove two uh, counters from, mm -hmm. from somewhere. So this is that one. It doesn't get any provision, but I get to remove two counters. I think seven seems to be the place we would like not to turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, uh, then to two. Uh, masonry, so fortification token. A fortification token, well, the capital, just so that you get strange <laughs> ideas. Yep. Uh, so, technology. Number three, three. Is still available, which yep. is a mission so or an hovercraft. Or a hovercraft. Oh, I'll have an hovercraft there, please. In three? Okay. Yep. okay. Um, fishing has gone. Is uh, gone. Power has gone. Gone. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, transportation Six. is gone. Six is gone. Uh, seven. Seven. Fortification token. Phew. <laughs> Where are you going to fortify? That is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> so you can move out of there, but you only actually you have a lot of heroes. But I'm thinking I have to think of military, not of yeah, operations. So it's four, four soldiers in there, unless there. I drop another three in. You could have seven. So the pressure there is not too high. I mean, twelve it looks like a place. Yeah, yeah twelve. Okay. Fortified. Well, we expect to have to fight in twelve this turn. Okay. Uh, so eight textiles remove two rebellion tokens. Mm -hmm. Remove two rebellion tokens. I think. Oh, you're going to quell down seven. Yes. Completely. Yes, yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um. Nine, uh, welfare token. Welfare token, over there. <laughs> uh huh. Let's feed number twelve. Uh, livestock and, and is gone. 12, Agriculture so is gone. Mining. mining, fortification token. Yes. Fortification token. Mm. Seven. Okay. Okay. Uh, then, are you going to revolt? Or are you going to sort of reinforce? So I only have one. The HQ there. One welfare token. Huh. I think I need to give Alessio a little more to think about because he could go into 10 and sort of reclaim it with a hovercraft and one guy. Uh, 7, I get the feeling he may move troops into to secure it. 12, there's enough hovercrafts around there to give me a bad day. Um, 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 um. 3, I could push for. Or I could go after 8. Or one. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I think 
And again, this is a big difference whether it's one player or two, because one player will be thinking about where the units are going to go. Mm. The other player will be thinking, go, f going for the card, because you, know, you get yeah. an extra two. Yeah. Oh, thinking, uh, should I have drawn those already? Yeah. Apologies. Yeah, that's Just right. keep the turn sequence correct. Because those Ooh. have an influence. And now, as a single player, you, you see both. Yes. You see both operations and mm -hmm. military. I think I'm going to roll for it and just have an uprising somewhere. Okay. Just because I think I need to make you think of elsewhere rather than my HQ, and keeping you out here is pretty mm -hmm. good for me at the minute. Mm. So in four or, or six. six. Four. Can you play it in uh, uh, yeah. Corvus Control? Or six. I think I will go for number four. Because number six is pretty well under my control, but I don't have enough forces in there to pick that and move out from. Whereas putting it into four, I've got more forces there to put in and move Spread out from. Spread the house all over the place, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, Alessio, where are you moving to? Right, so this is the, at the end of the setting up. Uh, the district phase is effectively, and now it's my turn to pick a, a territory and go in. Mm. Now, there is a sad amount of <laughs> yeah, that's, resistance um, around the capital. East coast plus is those a bit scary. West coast, perhaps? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he's got two. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm upside like, down. North changes depending on like which way you're plan. facing. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's true. The like like the number six and nine. Interesting. <laughs> we were finding. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking of striking him to seven. However, yeah, there's <laughs> enough there, there to make it just look like uh, no capital. <laughs> it's like the capital may want to be defended. On the other hand. If I picked 13 as the territory mm -hmm. where we all move into, that may give you stuff to think about. True. Because <laughs> I can move in with, yes, yes, we pick okay. 13 Ooh. as the place to go. <laughs> oh, with everything. Yeah. Yes. That's giving me something to worry about. Well, actually, this can come later. They don't particularly need to do it now. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I can go later. All right. I'll leave the choice for later. But yeah, we'll send a little strike force in there going, you know what? <laughs> right, so that was my move, then yep. your move of spreading out. Uh, hmm. My best bet is actually District 11 right now. Because I can move to here. Yep, I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I see what you're doing. On their way home, but they may stay there and, and take 12 while they're at it. Maybe. Or a bit of both. <laughs> yes, yeah. or a bit um, of both. So, your hovercraft, Alessio? My hovercraft. 11 is looking pretty juicy over there. Uh, yeah, but I would bring only one guy there with the hovercraft. That's yeah, enough. Well, it's enough to, to bring start it back. to. Mm -hmm. bring it oh, back. yeah, because you will take one yeah. off, and the moment it goes to zero, it switches back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to go to 12 and fight <laughs> against them instead. <laughs> See, if you didn't say anything, <laughs> I, would have, I was just going to try to, to fight because I have the, the resistance yeah. thing. In the... Good point. Now you're tempting me into something else <laughs> I could do. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I was, the original plan was to get two aircrafts and the guy in there because we fire first and wipe mm -hmm. out these guys. But these will go and defend there. So it's only two. So how about I do both? Mm -hmm. uh, but then I'm not going into there. Which is the most important thing. Now okay, here's you question. convince Can me. Can you move your hovercraft to here and then get that guy to piggyback on the next one to go on in as well? Um, or can you only be moving uh, the no, hovercraft uh, once I, per turn? Yeah, so and uh, the a unit cannot be carried more than once. Okay, that's fine. So that happens there, and now that I've been pointed out, and as because of that, we'll go and. Into 13. I could go both into 13 or both into 12. Um, didn't uh, he move from 8 or something? Yeah, the rivers get us two overcrits yeah. here. All mm -hmm. oh, right, so I could go one in there. Yeah. 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 No, no, you already had one in 12. No, indeed. Did indeed. You? One oh, was yeah. there. You know, sorry, this one, the one from, from eight here. went yeah, to yeah. here. Ah, yes. So these two can go either there and fight against these two guys and firing first. So mm -hmm. there's a good chance there. Yeah. Or you can uh, go for the hammer blow. Yeah. And I. I'll, it's gonna go. It's gonna go. No. Okay. It, 
12 is lost, basically. I've given up hope on 12, <laughs> and I'm just going, yeah, no, let's try to. Well, if you're lucky with your uh, your well-fed tokens, you could survive another yeah. turn. Now, you do have two other hovercraft out across the board. Yeah, so right, thank you, yes. Here, here. Yes, you I do. Uh, two. Oh, okay. And they fire first there. Oh dear God, it's becoming it's like <laughs> it's, it's nerve wracking. Yeah. Well, this will certainly do that. So we start to go. We like five to come back. And yeah, you know what? I start to make you worry about your other territories as well. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Done. 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 Okay. So, so. I've sucker punched you. Because this is moving to here with a guy. Ooh. Now there's no one to fight me here, no one to fight me here, and I can grab maybe these two. Over here, I'm going to have three hovercraft fly on through here with a guy each. <laughs> and in here, I'm happy enough to let it go because I'm going to go first. And I think that's me. I think the cards are going to be pretty important this turn. Yes, oh, indeed, because right. I see the point. E even if I take the capital, if I take uh, 13... It won't fall this turn. It's not this turn because yeah, I have to chew for those uh, 12. Mm -hmm. So it may, rest, it may last another turn, at least. Mm. Okay. Right, missions then. Yes. Oh, operations and missions. I think we'll do that on 12. Mm -hmm. Is there another well-fed token out and about, or were you going uh, to one? I think it's just that one. Just okay. the one there. Then I will not play this. Uh, hmm. No, that's all I'll play. Mm, just the one. Yes, the other ones, I, I could start blocking zones, but the ones I have are useful for later down the game. Yes, I have the same. This could be useful now, but only a little useful. Mm. While I could probably make it very useful in a future turn, so... Mm. We'll keep it. Right. right. Reveal. A reveal, yeah. So I have a mobilization here. Everybody goes in, yeah. I thought you might. Here you have one there. That's a promise of wealth. Promise of wealth. Ooh, Which means that one. basically that territory this turn mm -hmm. cannot sorry. Is it this turn or it stays there? It stays there. It stays there. So <laughs> basically I promise twelve huge immense riches if they, you know food yeah. for everybody yeah, for, yeah. forever if they if they don't turn. So as long as yeah. the card is there, twelve cannot change. Uh Okay, Damn. first things first. It's the bugs! <laughs> <laughs> Blow up those promise of resistance. Right. Um, um, promise of violence. He's lying to you! Okay, tactics. I really want Snow to go and stop this mobilization in one. We like to keep one. So, <laughs> interesting, we were first to denial rather than to activate our own missions. Uh, so, I need to run that off tactics. So, my second best tactician will okay, go to well, here to run that. Mm -hmm. And we'll. Okay, so we need. Uh, we need. Propaganda for that, so clearly that's a job for Flickerman, please. Mm -hmm. uh, I will actually send Katniss to here to really try and hinder you. Uh, you can only send one, I'm afraid. Ah, okay. Could I send a second here? Yeah. Okay. So you can send one to basically the secondary space from each side. Ah, I see. Okay. She's me with Egeria. So she, she could go there to help mm -hmm. with the promise of wealth, which yep. is quite important. Or she can clear out one of those. She could try to clear one of the... Uh, she, yeah, so it's proper shoot there. I'm not worried. Not worried there's no fight going on. No, I think she'll go and help on, okay. the, on the promise of wealth. Okay. okay, so I have bugs on this, or actually we go in order, so in number one, I have... Guile on... Uh, so Guile D10, on tactics. D10 and... A D8. Tactics on tactics. And I have Snow, which is a D12. Yeah. <laughs> evil, evil man. For a four Ooh. and a one. A four, if although you, you beat Snow, you don't beat the uh, difficulty of the card uh, yes. itself. So snow is not good enough, but you needed a six. Yeah, so unfortunate. Phew. No mobilization. Yeah. On the other side, I have so a was useless, but you were even more useless, or <laughs> equally as useless. <laughs> on the other end, I have 
Caesar, freak him yep. out, and the tactics of a Jiri. She's not bad, she's a D10. Mm -hmm. uh, for oh, a nine. he's running high. And you're rolling low. Neither of my characters can do it. Uh, so looks like uh, some District 12 has seen through. through your lies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, lies. I didn't just I didn't specify a date when they were becoming all rich and thing, but you know. <laughs> oh, God. This, when the this, sun this sounds like election season to me. <laughs> when the sun explodes. <laughs> okay. You're well. Yep. Okay. What to do, what to do. Um, so we're in combat now. Yep. So one uh, good, so two good, three is fine, four is fine, five is fine, six is fine, seven is fine, fine. Eight. eight. We, we have, have a fight, a a, and I fight a first. Yep. So D8 and a D10. Yep. Trying to fight you out. Oh, yes. that's two hits. Oh. That's no, what I really we wanted. I really wanted to kill the, the infantry guy. Oh, well. Uh, from eight, we go to nine, which is okay. Uh, from there we go to 10, uh, 11, nine, and nine, 12. Nine, nine, oh, nine, nine, nine. Sorry. Nine. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I fight first, 2d10 yep. and a d8. Yeah. Uh, that's no. three. That's that, three. Wow. You're that was lucky. Just <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> oh. Brutal. Uh, um, so 9, 10, 11, and 12 is fine. And then 13, we have to fight in. 13. Yes. So you get you do get to attack first. Uh, yeah. Four. One more extra d8, d8 please. Yeah. Come on. Show us a good mess there. Yeah, you've, uh, I think you deserve one. Yeah, I there got you one. go. One so hit. I kill one. I will kill one Ooh. of your hovercraft. Actually, no, they don't count towards scoring, so I'll kill one of your men. Okay. And that'll mean one less token goes away if I get wiped out. All right, so you what are do you mean wrong. If you get wiped out. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you roll. <laughs> uh, so I think you're on one, seven. two, three, four, five, six, seventy-eight, seventy-eight, and two D ten. And two D ten. Ouch. Now that's a scary handful of dice. <laughs> that is. Uh, ooh, ooh, very I'm dead. Saying Two, three, four, four dead. six, all gone. seven, eight. I'm still killing you. <laughs> Nine. I mean, captured you. They're all captured and <laughs> yes, yes, taken yes. to the we, capital for, to a, for a, a holiday. Detention center. For a holiday, yes. Okay. Re-education center. Right. That's mm -hmm. scary, scary stuff. So. Thirteen. Yeah. Uh, so now we go through uh, removing stuff. Mm -hmm. So nothing in one, nothing in two. Uh, three gains four. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that was so. Well, that's the gamble we took. Sort of, yeah, yeah, we gonna... went into the into the capital. Yeah, into into thirteen. Four is mine. Five is yours. Yeah. Six, six is yours. <laughs> yeah. Seven, Seven gains uh, four. Although six does actually lose one. Oh yeah, yep. lose one. Uh, as does five. Oh yeah, I remember. Um, <laughs> actually, <laughs> yes. Um, Seven gains four. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, eight gains four. Yeah. This is all crumbling around down your ears, around your ears even. Yep. Nine gains four. Two, three, uh, four. Yes. Nine gains yeah, four. Nine gains four. Uh, it's spreading this false lies. <laughs> uh, however, eleven loses one. Yeah. And so we'll flip back. Yep. Yeah. Hurrah! Good news. Thank you, Jack. I didn't. Know, I would have and seen that. Twelve will gain four. Yeah, he yes. Does. But he's well fed. Uh -huh. mm. One, two, three, four. Yep. Um, and so thirteen will lose seven. Thirteen loses seven. So as we convince peacefully five, the population of thirteen that six, we, have, we come there in peace. We came in peace. We we bring prosperity and yes. uh, the rule of law and all of that. So are you reinforcing or moving? So okay. this is the end. Uh, so we um, roll for roll for oh, yes, the end. Yeah, so it's like, well, you're moving to the next turn. Oh, yeah, uh, that's fine, actually. Yeah, let's move to the next <laughs> turn. Uh, so one, two, three. So uh, three, so four, or less. On a four. For oh, four. He turns. turns. Uh, so that is a hovercraft, actually. So you lovely. Uh, 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 oh, I have none. <laughs> oh. Um, so you oh, don't sorry. get anything. Yep. But, um, except for. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so from three, we three, got four. I have four. five. I have six. Uh, it's still mine. Seven I roll for, four or less. Yep. A ten, oh. no good. A ten. Eight. Four or less. Four or less. Three. Three, turns. that turns. I believe that's uh, three resistance infantry. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, nine. And two of these go. Uh, yep. Uh, yep, so nine is six or less. Yep. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, so that's two resistance infantry. Nice. And lose three of these. And uh, so has no more food. Seven, it's four or less. Uh, oh, we, we've done seven, so we, that was nine. Oh, sorry, nine, uh, So ten. Ten is mine. Uh, Eleven, Eleven no. is fine. Twelve. Ten or less. Uh, on two dice. Two dice. 
Ah, uh, yes. Uh, second death. Let's see if the last of your food parcels. Four and four. Oh. It flips. And what do I get here? Immediately place three resistance infantry. Perfect. So, and you lose half of these. So two, four, five. Five. See, this is a very important thing that I like to point out and I think is a very interesting mechanic in the game. Is if the district piles on a lot of this before it turns. Yeah. So it's more difficult, it takes longer to turn, mm -hmm. but when it turns, then it's much more solid. Yeah. It's much more difficult to take. So if you build a good amount, you cannot consolidate it, and even if you take it, it stays yours yeah. more likely. Well, if you turn on a fluke, so you're really lucky in roll a one or a yeah, two, yeah. and that it, turns. It rebalances the, the slow increase of rebellion. Exactly. And, and if you're lucky, basically it's the, the lucky roll, yeah, you get it, but it's very easy to take back. Yeah. You got this on a one or two, there was yeah. only one token there, so it was yeah, easy to take back. So yeah. if you're lucky, you don't have a lot of a hold on them. While if you fight really hard for them, then you get to keep them solidly. Seven of them. You seven. have seven territories. Oh. <laughs> so you are one away from winning this turn. And it would have been an interesting gamble because you kind of sacrificed 13. <laughs> so this next turn yeah, is quite... <laughs> so beginning, uh, reinforcement hey, or movement, Alessio. Yeah. Right. Okay. This is not looking terribly good. Mm -hmm. But on the other end, at the end of this turn, you yeah, lose. You may kill you me. You lose if, if, you don't, well, uh, if you don't do something about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Obviously need to do something about Honestly, 12 oh, yeah. uh, turning to the resistance for me. That's, of me. Yeah. That's, um, that's huge right there. I am utterly surrounded. On the other end, I can't jump I, everything in. I know, I know mm -hmm. that you have to move those guys. You, yeah. Your move has to be getting out of 12, because otherwise you lose. <laughs> you have to send those guys in. No. Because if I reinforce for three here, yeah. there is a chance. Kill three guys, you would remove four, and I'd be left with one token. Yes, but that means you have to rely on Dice all of your guys. <laughs> Killing somebody to hit, yeah, not very likely. So yeah. I think I still think that you're you double bluffing me. <laughs> <laughs> I still think you will have to activate twelve. Mm. That's my gamble. I think. What happens if he takes thirteen and the capital? If I take thirteen and he takes the capital at the same time, in the uh, same it's turn, done in district order, so the capital does win. Uh, sorry, the the resistance wins because the capital is flipped before you check yeah. the uh, right. So does it go capital, then one through up? Yeah, yeah. Okay. capital, one, two. So it's nothing yeah. there. Victory condition is achieved victory, mm -hmm. which makes sense yeah. in, in background terms. But, because you, obviously but you do check the eight at the end of the turn. So if you flip that, you win before, even if eight are flipped. Mm -hmm. Ah, so even if I get the eighth. Yeah, oh. so those are sort of secondary conditions. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, thank you for telling me that now. <laughs> yes, no, this is like, Yes, I have it. Thirteen's dead, but I have, I have it. Oh, I lose. <laughs> yes, we have to first hold our capitals, then capture eight. Yes, it's a very close game. Yes, 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 yes. So if I, I still think you're going to activate that. I don't think any of this will go, except of course, these three aircraft. But the bring, I think I estimate you can bring. Oh, actually, you can still bring one, two, three, four, five, six, plus six. You can still bring twelve things in there. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Although remember, it only adds; it doesn't immediately turn. There is a dice roll. Yes, it doesn't turn such a way. It will start to roll for things, and mm -hmm. if, if you, you could, if you can in, feed it, yeah, you yeah, might yeah, 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 yeah. be able to stave away. Ooh, you made it even more difficult a decision now. <laughs> 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 well, I'm thinking about the the capital, and actually, I just realised that I have. If I keep them tidy, that would have helped. <laughs> I have two more guys than I'm allowed to, ah. so these guys will actually <laughs> ah. <laughs> go. So twelve is the okay. maximum. So. The question is now whether to move these guys. Yeah, do they come out of here and start moving out, around the and area? And this is I out have? to any mm. addition. Uh, it, it's to one. To so one. one. Yeah. To one. So I can mm. strike for a strike for nine and mm. and leave the capital open for an overcraft invasion. Yep. You're you're a little surrounded there. Strike for seven because seven is still ours. Mm -hmm. Unlike those which I would have to try to take back, this one we can try to defend. Oh, so you're trying to hold seven. Hold That's seven. Interesting. Hold seven could be interesting. Actually, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. 
Uh, let me double check. One, sure. two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep. Sorry, I'm being I'm being stupid. I want to just double count and make One, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. eight. It. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we, six, we seven, missed eight. this one. Apologies. <laughs> so, at the start of this turn. Well, the greatest game over then. Apologies. <laughs> oh, that gambit. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, so, there, there was us sitting thinking, whoops, uh, we haven't won. But, yeah, in fact, so, we have. So, at the end of the turn, we yeah. counted seven, and yeah. said we missed one. Yeah. And it's eight. You Apologies. had eight. Yes, yes. Not much. Well, in a way, I'm relieved because it was melting my brain about what really? to do. I was going, ah, oh, I could do this and that, and then this and then that. Mm. So basically, it was a sticky situation either way. I think. Yeah. yeah, it was very close. It was very close because I could have weakened the capital, trying to gamble so that you would invade the capital, probably take it, mm. and then I would, you would have, have had to, time roll. to take thirteen. I would probably take thirteen, maybe. I could because I could have flown that in as well. Mm -hmm. So it's tricky. Yeah. You see, my thinking was. Whatever I was going to do, you were absolutely right. Here on 12, these guys were coming in. I was reinforcing here. That was going to give me five plus three, eight guys to hammer you back out of there, hopefully save myself for a little longer to hopefully maybe get seven or maybe, well, where's left? Seven, one, 11, and two are still yours. So to try and hopefully get one of those. Well, you could get 11 back as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I, I was seriously considering the hovercraft wave attack because I can get 12 guys in there. If you hadn't been so heavy here, I actually would have went for number four, bring these guys in, and then bring an additional 12 units in with the hovercraft. <laughs> but if you, um, and if you, one of your guys survives, that's two. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this is military students. thinking because, of course, that's what all we think in terms of military. But often the, the operations guy is going, ah, no, but I will do uh, this. That yes. will mean that this gets more gain, or I'll do this. That means yeah. this thing doesn't turn. This turn. Or yeah. there is also an option that the capital has that we've got. See all this stuff you have in this territory. We'll do a. We'll send some missiles over there with the, oh. the right tip, and <laughs> everything disappears in that place. <laughs> that kind of thing. So there's um, there's things you can do which change some missions that you know, and yeah, and that are really important. But I can I can imagine people uh, watching this if somebody watched the whole way through when we went oh seven that's more they were going oh yeah. no, you fools eight, you fools no no people yeah. on the internet are extremely reasonable and forgiving <laughs> it's, well. it's all right mock me mercilessly for my inability to count to eight <laughs> but honestly very tactically deep game Alessio I have really enjoyed learning how to play this my, from game one to game two my complete idea on how the tactics of the resistance mm. working have completely shifted. I would love to actually sit down with you at some point just off camera and play the other way around because I want to see how you yep. would play the I think we should do that. Well. We should definitely do that for fun. Mm. And I mean, keep in mind also, you could get more heroes on the resistance side, not yes. the capital. The capital has these. Yes. But the resistance can have more model, more capital. You can have uh, Cressida with a camera and all yeah, of this. Yeah, so yeah. you get more, even more flexibility there. That's mm -hmm. big strength of the resistance. And of course, the capital on the other end could potentially, depending on how the Kickstarter goes, we may go into uh, some bioengineered weaponry that oh, uh, you've see. seen in the movie, <coughs> in the in the in the in the underground of the capital. But uh, 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 we'll see. <laughs> I'll I'll, I'll quiz you about this later. So uh, everybody, tell you what, that was the Hunger Games mocking Jay the board game. Drop your comments in below. Yes, of course, mock me for my inability to count to eight. We will move on, and we will see you later. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this let's play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.